All right. Welcome back to CEO Money. Our third guest, very special guest, Dave Meltzer with Sports One Marketing. How are you, Dave? I'm very well. How are you? Okay. Sorry we got a little sideways. We were going to bring you in in the last segment, but uh, then, you know, the advertisers that keep funding us, we had to bring them in. So, but No problem. We got you here now. Listen, you were a successful sports agent and CEO of probably the guy in sports <laughs> management and agencies, Lee Steinberg. Uh, most people would have been satisfied with a career like that. Why in the world did you go and, and uh, found a new marketing group? Well, you know, there's a few reasons. Number one, uh, my business partner is Hall of Fame quarterback Warren Moon, uh, who was also a client at Lee's and a partner with Lee and I. And uh, Lee, uh, which is public, had some personal issues and difficulties with a terrible disease called alcoholism. And uh, at that time, Warren approached me and said, you know, I know, Dave, you've had this vision about uh, a marketing side to what Lee does in the agent side. Would you like to form that company with me and spin off? And uh, we did uh, about eight years ago. And uh, it's been an incredible journey ever since. You know, uh, having Warren Moon as a, as a partner, it's – uh, pretty special. He's he's an amazing guy. I had the the pleasure of interviewing him on uh, a show of mine called Superstars in Sports. God, it had to be late mid '80s. I'm trying to remember the the date, but uh, professional family man. The guy was was a terrific uh, terrific interview. So uh, uh, yeah, he's a terrific person. I'm bl- I'm blessed. Even you know to be blessed still to work with Lee. You know, both of us assist and help Lee, but also have our own entity that is inspired to do what we love to do, you know, now, the best of both worlds. Now, I have to apologize. Did I say Lee Steinberg working with No, no, you said, you, you Warren. said Warren. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So yeah. um, let me ask you a question uh, because I was going to ask you uh, but uh, uh, a little more about Warren Moon in the position that he's in as president of the company. But before I get to that, let me first ask you, because this will maybe solve it, uh, kind of what is your mission at the agency? Yeah, it's a great question. So when I formed our mission statement, it was about a paragraph and a half. And it was, uh, as Warren said, it was kind of full of hot smoke. It talked about leveraging relationship capital and understanding and attributing situational knowledge. And he read it for the first time and he looked at me and he said, Dave, what does this say? (laughs) <laughs> and uh, he said, in plain words, speak to me like you're a football player. I said, well, basically, Warren, what it says is we want to make a lot of money so we can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. And he looked at me and said, why don't you just write that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Sometimes we get too complicated and and we listen to our own self-talk too much and, and use big words when really, in fact, you know, when I make television shows, I make them – so a third grader understands what what we're saying. That's why I like your television shows. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so, you know, it was very wise words. And now I know why you have Warren Moon as your president of the company. Tell me, kind of drill down with me a little bit about what you're doing uh, with Sports One Marketing. And some of this, give me a story. Sure. So, you know, instead of representing celebrities, athletes, and entertainers, what Warren and I looked at was, you know, we have these two great assets. One is our relationships. We are one degree of separation from everyone in sports and entertainment, or even maybe in the country, from politicians to businessmen, et cetera. And then we also have a unique perspective of sports and entertainment, one that's not emotionally attached. I used to say, you know, the way that Lee made money was the irrationality of middle-aged men and women. You know, they would spend, you know, thousands of dollars for a signature on a piece of paper. That just didn't make economic sense to me. So Warren and I have an unemotional perspective of how to monetize uh, the vertical that we work in. And using the context of make a lot of money, help a lot of people, a lot of people have a lot of fun, what we do is we bring all that inner, inner circle the celebrities, athletes, entertainers, the media, the high net wealth individuals, the sponsors, the activators, the advertisers, 
We bring them to both the biggest projects in the world, like the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, Masters, Kentucky Derby, Breeders' Cup, the award shows like the ESPYs, Emmys, Oscars, Grammys, the film festivals like Sundance, Tribeca, Cannes. We bring it to uh, all thousands of different charitable organizations. And if you bring all of these right people to the right projects, we can elevate the brand, the profile, and awareness like we did for athletes, but now we truly can execute on our business model without any emotional tie to it, specifically to let's make a lot of money by bringing the right people to these projects, yep. let's help a lot of people by tying in a charitable cause or purpose, and most importantly, let's have a lot of fun while we're doing it because these are really cool projects to work with, and yes. the model really works, and we have two components now that we complement it with. One is... I built a technology system with our team here called the Aggregated Marketing Platform that aggregates sponsors for thousands of events, and it aggravates thousands of events for thousands of sponsors. And then we also have a media company that has a specific uh, perspective of producing the production. So we don't actually produce the actual event. We produce the people who go to the event, kind of the behind-the-scenes production of the production, specifically yep. for postable video, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, et cetera. And bam, everybody wins. That's our goal. That's how we help a lot of people. All right, <laughs> real quick, because we, we only got about 60 seconds left, and, and I could talk to you all day, but for fun, what makes the best client? The best client are those that build and give back to the community. So when we have a dynamic individual, you know, Christian Okoye, uh, you know, Sean Merriman, that these guys were great on the field, but off the field they're even better, and they're selfless and of service and provide value to their entire community, that makes it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 seconds. Um, what was the biggest endorsement deal you ever done? Don't get mad at you me for I asking. <laughs> No, you know, you know, my, the the biggest one at the time was Ben, ben Roethlisberger had the biggest Nike endorsement deal. And it really wasn't for that much money, but because it was Nike and they weren't so into football, it was the biggest, most substantial deal. And then the second is just dealing with the new stadiums. Now that we actually own a portion of the property across from the new stadium in Las Vegas, that's probably the biggest deal that we've done, owning that property right across from the new stadium Ooh, in Las Vegas. Yes, that's a great move. That's Dave Meltzer with um, Sports One Marketing. How do people reach you? Is it sportswinemarketing.com? Perfect. That will generate everywhere else, Dave, at davemelter.com. But sportswinemarketing.com is our hub. You can reach Warren, myself, and everything we're doing. I have a new podcast called The Playbook and a TV show called Elevator Pitch. Yay. All right. Dave Meltzer with Sports One Marketing. Thank you so much for being on our show. It's been a blast. Thank you for having me. Take care. Okay, Dave.